Hi there, my name is Thomas Carney from Planio, and today we're going to talk about the CRM and the Help Desk app in Planio. So, what can Planio CRM and Help Desk do for you? Well, one, you can work on customer questions at one central location, so your entire team can work together to give answers to customer questions. You'll be able to answer customers faster, thanks to templated responses to commonly asked questions, order replies, and customized messaging context. You can ensure that customers always get consistent answers to the same questions. You can reduce the amount of support emails using FAQs. Your customers will be happier because they'll be able to track their questions. And best of all, your support team can work with customers from anywhere in the world. And today we're going to jump into five different things. I'm going to show you how to set up the CRM and help desk in Planio, set up the support email address, start replying to customer emails, and then we'll have a look at how you can create custom headers and footers and auto reply templates. Finally, we'll, we'll see how we can create an FAQ section. Ready? Let's do this. So first, sign into your Planio account by going to your Planio site at your subdomain.plan.io. You'll find the address in the confirmation email if you can't remember it. We'll log in. Then select a project. Go to projects up here and create one if you haven't created one already you can create a project by selecting here we advise creating a project just for support inquiries and if you provide support in several languages it's best to create a separate project for each language so we click on en support now first we have to activate the crm and help desk app so we go to apps in the nav bar we scroll down CRM and help desk and we make sure that it's installed. Now that's installed we need to set up the support email address. So we go to settings in the nav bar and then we go to CRM and help desk. You can specify your support email address for the project here. For example the from address or the support address is support at tommycarney.com. You can set that to any email which you want customers will be able to email that address and it will create an issue in Planio, which you can then uh, respond to. Now you'll have to set up email forwarding to the Planio Dropbox email, which is the email you'll see below this unusual looking email here. Any email sent to the address here need to forward to the unique Planio Dropbox email address. I've included links to tutorials on how to do this for Google Apps and some of the big domain registers such as GoDaddy or Ninom below in the text. It can take a few minutes once you set up the email forwarding before it will be active. You'll know that it's active by when the status here is active and you can send test emails until that's the case. So now let's pretend we're a customer and we'll send an email to support at tommycarney.com. If you use an email address that isn't registered in Planio, that email address will be added as a new customer in the customer tabs, so you'll be able to track all correspondence with that person. This means you'll be able to manage all customer relations from within Planio automatically. So for instance, I'll send an email about my recent order to support tommycarney.com. I'll have a subject line and I'll have my email here. Hit send. Now that I've sent the email, the email appears as an issue in Planio, here in the Issues tab. I can go and click on it. The subject line is set as the subject, and the body of the email is set as the description. An automatic email confirming receipt of the email is sent to the customer, and we can see it here. You can change the message to something that fits you and your business. Now, let's respond to the email from Planio. Click on Edit and scroll down to the Notes section. Select Customer Notes and write your email. Here's a cool thing about Planio. You don't have to write Hi John or conclude the email. Those parts are automatically included via the header and footer templates. We'll see how we can actually change them later on and customize them. That means you can just concentrate and answer the query. Okay, press submit 
to send this to the customer. They'll receive an email with your message along with a greeting and email signature. We can see the email here. An added bonus is that your customer will have a link so they can track the progress of the request. This is particularly useful if, there, if the issue can't be resolved right away. For instance, you could keep them updated, and they can see the various updates all here on one page. Okay, let's dive into some more advanced features of Planio CRM and Help Desk app. Click on Settings and then on CRM and Help Desk you'll see the CRM template section on the right. Here, you can update the existing templates for the header and footer. For example, let's update our header. So go to default header and click edit. You'll see dear and this contact.name within these curly brackets. They are called variables and you can include the contact's first name, for example, or their last name or any of the other available variables here. So for example, perhaps we want to change it to high and have a, a comma after it. I can press save and that will save that header. I can then go to the footer and I see here again, you see current user.name. That, that would be uh, the name of the person answering. In my case, that would be Thomas. And we can also have the project name here, in which case would be EN support. You can make any changes you want here to the text. Okay, so we are back here at the CRM and help desk tab in the settings. The next thing we're going to look at is how you can create templated answers to frequently asked questions. This can be a huge time saver because when you receive a query from a customer that you've already answered, you can select it from the template drop down menu and quickly answer them. For example, here we have a templated reply to a question asking whether it's possible to change the shipping address. So we'll click on edit. We have a title here and we have the content of the uh, templated answer. And here we can add it to a category in your shipping. If you fill out the FAQ question, the email will be added under that question to your customer support FAQ section. So I've added here, can I change my shipping address as an FAQ question. Click save. Okay, so let's recap here. You've set up your CRM and help desk, you've configured your support email, and you've customized your headers and your footers. You've also seen how you can create templated answers to commonly asked questions and how you can use those answers to create an FAQ section for your customers. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support.plan.io.